well, perhaps even Jock Fraser would think twice about cycling to Alaska, that's where survival pitches its camera at one o'clock for a film about a delicate balance between protection and development. Unfortunately, we're unable to bring you the advertised edition of Getting On. In its place, we're showing a program which was first transmitted last year, in which Sheridan Morley in interviews actress Joyce Carey about her very varied and interesting career. Getting On comes to you today from the Chelsea home of a legendary actress and dramatist who is our guest in the programme. She's known to countless millions of television viewers for such series as The Cedar Tree, but long before that she first made her name as an actress in the theatre in a whole range of plays by her great friend Noel Coward, and then in the cinema in such classic films as Cry the Beloved Country and Brief Encounter. And she, of course, is Joyce Carey. Let's begin at the very beginning. There can't be many actresses born a couple of years before the century who are still working and indeed looking as good as you are. Oh, how but naughty of you. Did you know that you were going to be an actress from the very beginning? Well, I um, wanted to be. I saw sometimes there was going to be trouble ahead. But I determined I was going to because I longed to be. Why trouble ahead? Well, uh, Mum was not keen. This was Dame Lillian Braithwaite, a formidable <laughs> actress of the old yes. school. Was it difficult being her daughter? In many ways, I think it was probably a help, you know, because um, agents and people uh, sort of knew one, one's background a little bit. Uh, but, um, y yes, it had its ups and downs, but I'm sure the ups were uh, in the ascent. And, but what sort of childhood? Was it a very theatrical, rather dominated oh, childhood? Oh, it was rather, by this rather worrying lady? childhood. Very nice. I adored my granny, Lillian's mother, and had a lot of very nice uncles, which I liked. And I was very devoted to both mum and dad, but was present at a very early age at terrible rows. And I think that was very trying. Because sometimes I couldn't bear it anymore and just burst into floods of tears and had to be carried away. I was very small. And, and I didn't know what was the matter, you see. Who was being beastly to who? And your parents did separate when you were very young? Oh, uh, yeah, well, they were divorced through with it all by the time I was six. Did that cure you of ever wanting to marry? Because you never well, did. Well, I think a psychiatrist might say that it had influenced me a little tiny bit, although I didn't think of it until a short time ago. Being the daughter of Dame Lillian, did that mean that you got taken to the theatre from a very early age? The first uh, thing I ever went to was a, uh, The Babies in the Wood at the Fulham Theatre. And I heard Lillian telling a friend that we were going, and the friend said, isn't she rather small? And Lillian said, oh, we're going in a box. <laughs> and I said, will there be a lid on it? <laughs> Which I think was very perspicacious of it. <laughs> you were also, I think, taken when you were very young to see Henry Irving. I remember Irving quite well. I remember him leaning against the pillar and talking as I talked to himself. I suppose he was. He looked wonderful. And I met him in the dressing room afterwards. And he put his hand on my head and said, my child, I'm delighted to see you. And I just gawked at him, I'm sure. But I wasn't frightened of him at all. And I read in Lawrence Irving's book about him that he drew the makeup on his face with paintbrushes. And I think...